，我的素宝们 ，You know what to do， 上课。Okay, I'm your prettiest teacher, Teacher Sue. Hi, Sakata class. Today is Monday, March eleventh. I didn't forget to say the date this time. Okay, I made sure I put that at the beginning so I don't forget. One more time. Today is March eleventh, two thousand and twenty-four. All right, so. Let me tell you what we have in my video today. Okay, we are going to do some review, and then you know that we have a test on Friday. Who jiao? We have a test this Friday, so we're going to review for that, and then do a little bit of the workbook, and then I have not graded your quizzes yet, so don't ask me. Like teacher Sue, did you grade our quizzes? No, I have not. I had a really busy weekend, especially on Sunday. Sunday, I had four tutor classes, so I'm recording this video at night. So I'm pretty pretty tired, and that's why you see I have glasses again because I woke up at seven fifteen this morning. 我七点十五就起来了，一路上了四堂家教课，一路上到晚上。我看。晚上差不多七点多吧，然后我八点多才在家里吃晚餐 and everything. So super tired, but I'm still going to、um, do the video and then talk to you guys, and then you know see you guys on Wednesday. All right, so let's get started. You know what we're gonna start with flashcards, but you are going to spell it this time. I'm just gonna show you the flashcards, okay? Spell it out. You say it out loud, okay? I know how to spell the words already. How about you? I feel like I'm opening my mouth very wide. <laughs> Okay, did you get all that? I went by that pretty quickly, and like I told you time and time again in class, the flashcards, these flashcards are gonna show up on the test in the unscrambled section. Unscrambled, 重组句子 Okay, I'm not gonna put them in order. 我要把它混乱起来。不过你们还是可以打开 student book 来讲这个东西 Okay, here we go. Let's say it together. Which are faster, gazelles or cheetahs? Gazelles. <laughs> Cheetahs are faster than gazelles. They are the fastest animals in the world. Or you can say on land as well. That's okay. Next one. Which are taller, African elephants or giraffes? Giraffes are taller than African elephants. They are the tallest animals in the world. Which is larger, Alaska or Texas? Alaska is larger than Texas. It is the largest state in the world. Which are heavier, Asian elephants or African elephants? African elephants are heavier than Asian elephants. They are the heaviest animals in the world. Or you can say on land too. That's okay. Okay. Which are rarer, gray wolves or red wolves? Red wolves are rarer than gray wolves. They are the rarest animals in the world. Last one, which is larger, Saturn or Jupiter? Jupiter is larger than Saturn. It is the largest planet in the solar system. System. And on the quiz, I remember. Do you know how to spell planet? Planet that was on the quiz. Hopefully, you spelled it correctly because that's a pretty easy word to spell. Okay, so here it goes. I'm going to give you the first question, the bonus question for my video. Okay, the first bonus question is: I talked about Alaska and Texas, right? Alaska and te Texas. What is the capital of Alaska? And what is the capital of Texas? 
So these are the two states in America. And when I was little, I used to need to remember the capitals in America. Everybody has to, not just me. 在美国啊，你小时候啊，我们都要逼着背背那个五十二个州的首都。那 Teacher Sue 现在就问你哦 ，What is the capital of Alaska and what is the capital of Texas? Make sure to write it down. Okay, I'm going to ask you on Wednesday. This is the first bonus question. If you haven't already, please open up your student book to page fifty-three. Fifty-three. Student book fifty three. Okay, so this is going to be on the test in the true and false section, and you need to remember the content of the story. So I'm going to read it again for the content. Okay, this is about red eyed tree frogs. All right, page fifty three. Frogs with many colors. Red eyed tree frogs are one of the most colorful frogs in the world. Their bodies are bright green with blue and yellow striped sides. They have red eyes and orange feet. The bright colors protect them from other animals. Dangerous animals cannot see the frogs. They are green, so they hide in trees. The frogs put their orange legs under their bodies, so they are completely green. The frogs can sit on leaves. And other animals cannot see them. The colors red, orange, yellow, and blue also help the frogs. When a hungry snake or bird sees a frog, the frog quickly shows all its bright colors. The colors make the snake or bird surprised, and the frog can jump away. All of the colors on the red-eyed tree frog are useful, and. You remember, I showed you a video in class about red-eyed tree frog, right? So it's pretty close to the picture that we see in this book too. All right. So please remember the colors of the frogs. All right, and then the striped sides and how do they camouflage from other animals? All right. Remember that for the test. That's going to show up as a true and false question. All right. Now to my second bonus question. Second bonus question. So, in the video I showed you in class, what country did he go to? Remember, there was an explorer, 有一个探险家，对不对 ？Okay, 是一个男生，还记不记得？然后他去了一个地方，他去了哪一个地方呢 ？To see the red-eyed tree frog. Okay, which country did he go? From the teaching video that I showed you. 那如果你忘记那个 teaching video 的话，那我把它打在这边，打字打在这边。那你可以去搜寻在 YouTube 上面，然后你自己可以再重看。我觉得还蛮好看的。I was kind of scared in there like two times. I got scared. All right. 那第三个 bonus question 呢 ？The third bonus question is. Is the frog in the video male or female? Is the frog in the video male or male or female? And how do you know? Why? How do you know? Okay. Let's move on to page fifty-four, sections H and I. I think I only went over it one time in class, and I want to reread it over because I bet some of you already forgot what the content was. Was and I just want to get you familiarized with the grammar structure. Okay, section H. Let's go over it together. Ready, set, go. Which are faster, gray wolves or gazelles? Gazelles are faster than gray wolves. They run about fifty miles per hour. Which are faster, zebras or cheetahs? Cheetahs are faster than zebras. They can run about seventy miles per hour. Number two, say it out loud with me. Okay, don't just just listen or like fast forward. Say it out loud. Which are heavier, white rhinos or Asian elephants? Asian elephants are heavier than white rhinos. They weigh about eleven thousand pounds. And didn't we like go over in class like 
how many kilograms is 11,000 pounds? Do you guys remember? I remember Arthur's math was super, super fast and super good on this one. Okay, next one. Which are heavier, giraffes or African elephants? African elephants are heavier than giraffes. They weigh about 15,000 pounds. Okay, going on to section I, the blue whales part. I want to go over that together too, okay? Blue whales are the largest animals on earth. They are the biggest, longest, and the heaviest. The whales can be up to 100 feet long. 这个的意思是我之前有在上课的时候讲过就是它可以长到 100 feet long 所以还蛮长的 And they can weigh over 220,000 pounds That's the weight of over 15 African elephants While howler monkeys are the loudest animals on land Blue whales are the loudest animals on earth They are louder than a jet Okay, so after reviewing this, I am going to go to the workbook and assign you homework. All right, so please open up your workbook right now to page 34, 34 and 35, okay? Hopefully you have your pencils ready on page 34 of the workbook. 34 of the workbook. I know we did section E together in class. We went over the mistakes. I want to go over section F. So section F, G, and H are all homework, okay? I'm going to explain it to you guys, but I'm going to talk about the first few answers, and then you can write it down, all right? F, the 部分,第一呢, you're supposed to look at the picture and write a sentence about it. For example, number one, the Seikon Tunnel is the longest tunnel in the world. All right. So, how about number two? Looking at the picture, it's the giraffe. So, I will say that the giraffe is the highest animal So, how do I say that in English? I was going to say it now, but I'm going to wait until you write down the answers. Okay. I would say something like this. Giraffes are the tallest animals in the world. Okay? Why is it giraffe? Yeah, giraffes, no? You go, 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 或者是你可以说 on land, 我也可以接受, okay? 那接下来你就要自己做 3, 4, and 5, 3, 4, and 5, 3, 4, and 5, 要自己写哦, okay? Now I'm going to move on to section G, so if I'm moving too fast, you can always pause the video, pause it, and then after you're done, come back to it, okay? Section G, number one is already done for you, so let's read it together. Are white rhinos heavier than African elephants? No, they aren't. African elephants are the heaviest animals on land. Okay, now DRT, of course, this is Canada and Russia. So, you So, notice that is Canada. Russia? No. Russia? Okay, I'm not going to give it away. You guys can write it. Okay. Section H is the teacher's favorite part. Alright, so number one. This is your own answer, by the way. Alright, who is the tallest student in your class? Hmm. Who is the tallest student in my class? Is it Cloud or is it Angela? Cloud or Angela? Which one? Okay, you can write down your answer. Complete sentences, okay? Number two, who is the loudest student in your class? 
I have so many choices. Like four names already pop into my mind. Okay, number one, the first one I thought of was Kyle. <laughs> Second one, Dambo, of course. Dambo, 看到你在尖叫喽 Okay, third one, uh, Arthur sometimes. Okay, fourth one, Robin is getting pretty talkative. Okay, fifth one, Eugene. 怎么都是男生啊？奇怪，怎么会这样子 ？Okay, so you can put any of those down. Just choose one person. Okay. Question number four: Who is the youngest person in your family? Oh, 我跳了一题 Who is the fastest person in your family? 第三题最快的人是谁？然后第四题 Who is the youngest person in your family? Number five. What is the biggest city in your country? This you might need to look up on your phone. Like, which what is the biggest city in Taiwan? So look it up and then write it down, and then we can go over it on Wednesday. Number six. What is the longest river in your country in Taiwan? What is the longest river in Taiwan? Again, you would need to look it up, and then write it down. You might probably uh, write the Chinese, but.、Uh, On Wednesday, I can show you how to write the English part. Number seven. What is the highest mountain in the world? What is the highest mountain in the world? If you don't know, again, look it up. And last one, number eight. What is the largest ocean in the world? What is the largest ocean in the world? Hmm. These are pretty good questions. I'm pretty curious of what everybody's gonna write and if everybody's gonna come up with the same answer. Okay, so again, homework is F, G, and H, and on Wednesday I will collect your workbooks. Now that we're done with the workbook, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the spotlight reading. And yes, the spotlight reading unit nine will be on the test on Friday. So. 第九单元的文法跟单字会在礼拜五的考卷出现 as a multiple choice question， 所以是选择题哦。All right, so I want to review the vocabulary again because you might have forgotten. All right, so everybody turn to page seventy in your spotlight reading. Seventy spotlight reading. Okay, let's say it together. Hard working. Hard working. Forgets. Forgets. However, however, active, active, outdoor activities, outdoor activities, attention, attention, guitar, guitar, goal, goal, band. Band. Okay, so here comes my next bonus question. My next bonus question is: You need to make a sentence with attention, goal, and Joanna. We'll cue down Joanna lah. One more time: attention, goal, and Joanna. And please put it in the comment section of the YouTube video. Again, 墙头下会有。特别的讲哦 ，OK. Attention, goal, Joanna. Please make a sentence, OK. You can make two sentences. If you can't fit it in one sentence, you can fit it in two sentences, but no more than two sentences, OK. 这个就是复习我们这礼拜五会考的单词。那文法的部分呢，请你复习第七十二页。我们之前有说过 ，always 百分之一百 ，usually. Eighty percent, often sixty percent, sometimes forty percent, rarely twenty percent, seldom ten percent, and never zero percent. Zero percent. And 你要弄清楚说这个 frequency of adverbs 是在一个句子哪里出现 ？OK， 它在哪一个位置？所以请你看第七十二页，它摆放的位置有在哪里 ？OK， 第一 ，the living room is. Always clean comes right after a verb. Comes right after a be verb. Okay. 第二个 she never gets up early on the weekend. 
，OK， 一般动词前。然后第三个呢，你请你看 ，Is Amy usually hungry after school? No, she never is. 这个要注意哦 ，She never is. She seldom is. 我之前我们出在选择题上，很多人错这一题。All right， 所以请你注意这个第二个部分。All right， 那下面 always 与 sometimes 的比较。所以你要看例句一下 ，Maggie isn't always happy at school. Equals, Maggie is sometimes happy at school, but she sometimes isn't. Okay, 一半一半的意思。All right. 还有最后的 ，always 与 never 可用的，呃、uh, ，Yeah, how to use it? For example, always, always be kind to your friends. Never, never be rude to your friends. Okay, 请你再复习一下这一页哦。All right. 那你应该问说 ，Teacher Sue， 我们都已经到了 Unit Ten。对，我们 Unit Ten 暂时礼拜五不会考。Okay. 那如果我们礼拜三还有时间的话，我们还是会继续讲八十二、八十三跟八十四，然后 review 一下我们 favorite guy in the world。B 动词的过去是 M S R O K 的用法 ，All right， 然后我们会继续做八十二、八十三 M 八十四。You're probably thinking like, why isn't Teacher Sue eating anything? Well, I am, I am. I put it till the end, okay? So I'm gonna try something in this bag.、Uh, I'm pretty nervous about it because it's something that I don't usually eat. So it's called Cocoa milk durian, cocoa milk durian. All right, is uh, 椰子奶榴莲 Okay, 椰子奶榴莲那我现在要来打开来吃吃看。然后我礼拜三也会跟你们分享。我看包袋子里面有几个。Oh my god, 味道有点可怕，<笑>有点像 poo。I'm sorry. 一二三四五个而已。OK， 那 Teacher Sue 就要先示范吃一个了，好恐怖哦。Coco milk durian。那其他的四个我会跟你们呃礼拜三的人分享。All right。啊，它打开是这样子的。White thing。Oh, it's hard. Oh, 有点很奇怪的口味。It's like coconut,、uh, but it's like with durian. <laughs> 谁想要来吃吃看？<laughs> 我还有四个哦，很贵哦。可是。这里边有两片，我不吃完感觉又很浪费，这可能要 with tea。嗯，好吧，这不是 is not something that I would like， but probably something you might like。OK， all right， so， 嗯、uh, uh, ， <laughs> OK， for now， this is Teacher Sue。I will see you on Wednesday and ask you guys what I did, what I ate, and hopefully you guys can solve the bonus question. All right, bye bye.